Alright, uh, hey guys and welcome back to another video of ECK Sports and yes, not reading the comment section. The reason why I'm showing you it in this area, I want to show you I am a subscriber of MLW and I will leave a like. I will cut out this ad, I'll see you after the ad. Welcome to the 2020 oh my God. MLW Awards Show. Let's go, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this. I'm hyped I'm hyped for this. Tommy Coughlin. Woo. Okay, Thank you. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hold on a minute. So like every So like everybody came. Hold on. Hold on. Is that that hold on. Hold on. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 11th annual MLW Award Show. What a wild year it has been in this league. We've seen a lot of new wow. faces and a lot of the classic veterans that everybody loves. Everybody's I'm there. I'm be happier to be here. Everybody's like I said, it's the 11th there. annual show. And I was actually here on the first show 10 years ago. Just a young boy my whole life. <laughs> little did I know that 10 years later. And I know everybody in the comment section was like, Oh, what are you going to do in the award ceremony? Oh, 2020. The only way I make an appearance on this show is by hosting it. No awards for me tonight. But um. <laughs> Sitting in front of me, some are clearly more excited to be here than others. Drew so, Davis. Congratulations! I heard you finally got your driver's license, so good for you. Oh, Brandon Zerla. Yeah, he's like what, 16? Kid had an MLW title before he was driving, uh, and Drew Davis, on the other hand, is uh, going on 21 years old, and no hardware in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daniel has a pretty big beard. First up on the awards list here, we have Rookie of the Year, most talented class of rookies. Oh my God. Had an MLW. As you guys Sailor. Know, as Sailor. Draft for the first time in the winter of 2020. I picked Sailor. Very tough decision for the fans, but the votes have been counted. All 10.1 billion votes were cast, give or take a few zeros. But I have the results here. Oh. And the winner is Chris Cheatham. Oh, of course. I knew it. I, I knew Chris Cheatham was going to win it. I mean, there's no way he wasn't. Cheatham, are you kidding me? Chris Cheatham. Like, you guys can watch the highlights, but... I, I was really sure it was going to be Chris Cheeto. For me, for the rookie of the year, I really appreciate it. This class was really impressive, and, and so. everyone really performed well in this class. So it's really an honor to be. I knew he was going to win it. This class I just year. want to know the it's actual the results. Thank you. Whew. All right. The next award for this evening is the Gold Glove Award. This award featured kind of two frontrunners being Ben Wilson and Drew Davis. Come on. We saw Ben Wilson flying over the fence, making one-handed snags, and Drew Davis going all over the field, diving for ball like, after ball. Like, I picked Drew, but I wanted to be Ben Wilson. But at the end of the day, it's going to be Drew. The player who had yeah. more sports in their top ten plays than anyone on the New York Jets, Drew Davis. <laughs> oh, by the way, you should check you should check out my rebuild video for the Jets. Oh, uh, but that's funny. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank, thank you for voting me in Gold Glove. I, I appreciate it, and I want to thank my athletic influences, Pablo Sanchez and <laughs> Pam Porter. <laughs> sure, Drew. Swing a ball! Right. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Nick the catch. He did it. Oh, my God. Sorry, it's in my head. An absolute rub is the inning. Till now. <laughs> Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball is good. No? Thank you, Tommy. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, give a round of applause to Tommy Coggin for doing this in the first place. First ever what? for this type of award show. I mean, you gotta give him a hand. Hold on, w what's going on here? Why is Kyle now doing it? Appreciate Tom. For the most dedicated award, I am here to present uh, to a player that has been very dedicated all season long. Comes to the comes to the Meadows every single time with a great attitude. Um, you know, he's super dedicated throughout the entire season. Made this team a lot more relevant than what they used to be. A lot more fun. A lot more fun. And he even traveled with us to Illinois for the uh, Midwest Slugfest. So I got to give Oh, it's Jimmy Norp. A big thank you to the winner of the most dedicated award, Jimmy Norp. Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Insane. What an addition to this league, folks. Jimmy Norp, two-run shot. Yeah, that was a shot, yeah. What's up, Evan Thank you guys so much for voting the most dedicated this year. Get Norp. It's an award that really does mean a lot to me. 
Every chance we have the tournaments in Michigan and Illinois, just meet all you guys, yep. talk about wiffle ball, and continue to grow the sport. It was definitely the favorite part of my season. I plan on staying more involved in the future, so I hope to see you. I pick Zerlag, but I think that's a good pick. Before you guys come out to these tournaments, I'm so excited for the 2021 season. So D-Back Nation, be ready for it. Big year for us. Jim Hey, Jimmy, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh. I'm real happy for you, buddy. Uh, you did a great job, but uh, Mark Schultz had the most dedicated season I've ever seen in my life. Nothing compares to him. Oh, ha, ha. The next award we have is for Manager of the Year. This award in the past has typically gone to the manager who has led his team to win the World Series. So it's Gavin Oreski! This player went out and drafted two Eagles. So it's Gavin Oreski! Oh, no, it's not. Without further ado, what? Brendan Zerlag, congratulations to you this year's Wait, I thought he said when, like, it usually goes to the guy who wins the World Series, I thought he meant that it was going to go to someone that didn't. Okay. <laughs> I I fell in a trap. What's going on, MLW Nation? That's uh, fair. I just want to thank you, all, everyone, for voting for me and all those who cheered on for the Great Lakes Skaters this season. Went out just how we wanted to. Uh, I'm happy that Chris and uh, Jorgie could help us the way we wanted to and end the season right. Just be ready for next year. We'll be back. See, I think the the last three, because these are the three Ryan Crash could win. He is my favorite player in the league. Silver Slugger, MVP, Cy Young. Brendan Zerlag has put together a lineup that will put them in the world. Todd Neil Smith. In year two. We get your sixth. Oh, yes. Don't look at Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm here to announce the most clutch player of the year. This player was not only clutch during the regular season, but he was also very clutch in the postseason. Sailor. He capped off the season by hitting a home run in the World Series to win it for the Great Lakes. Oh, it's Chris Cheatham. I'm about to announce to you the most clutch player, Chris Cheatham. Ah, uh, no. Mm. Like, I understand he walked it off in the World Series, but, like, do I? Eh, I guess it's okay. Huge thank you to everyone who voted for me for the most clutch award this year. You know, I'm really glad I was able to deliver in the biggest moments of the season. Uh, Jorgians are like, thank you for uh, helping me put me in those moments. And yeah, I guess you could say. World Series, so you I'm could say. The biggest moment of the season. But, yeah, hoping to build off that for next year as we try to win back-to-back -back World Series. I guess that's okay. That, that's okay. All right. All right. Moving right along. This so after some ads, we'll go back into it. Evening. The next award we have is Silver Slugger. Silver Slugger Award. Uh -huh. Silver Slugger Award. Once again. Come on. Crash your sailor. Award, not forget. Okay. This player. Crash your sailor. Absolutely dominant. Had a very ferocious swing in the batter's box. And a rookie. Sailor. Class. Sailor. Was a 322 average. Sailor. Seven home runs and 22 RBI. Sailor. Ladies and gentlemen. Sailor. I picked it. Hey guys, Nick Sailor here. I want to thank everybody out there for voting me this year's Silver Slugger. Uh, hey, I, I voted you. Really do appreciate all the support from the fans and my teammates, Michael Aguilar, Kyle Schultz, Ryan Kelly, and Jack Pirock. And we're looking for big things out of the cast next season. So, oh. thanks guys. Crush. Cy Young. Up next with the most improved award. Oh. Typically in the past, this award has either gone to a player who has either improved throughout the season or has improved drastically from one season to right. the next. And this year, we went to a player who had an absolute phenomenal postseason in comparison to his regular season. In the postseason alone, this player had a 394 batting average. What? Six home no! Runs. Another one to cheat him? No pitching record on the mound. Just an absolute Come on! Campaign by this player. Why? I'm proud to present to you the most improved player of 2020. Come on, man. Come on. Swing him in. A perfect game for Chris Cheatham. It very rarely happens in MLW. You know, I, I... Kyle's going to win. And Kyle will win MVP. I thought Chris Cheatham could. If Chris Cheatham wins MVP, I don't know what to say. Really appreciate it. I wasn't really expecting to win this one. There were some very deserving <laughs> yeah. list of names for the nominees. But uh, 
you know, I, I'm really happy I was able to build off what I thought was kind of a mediocre regular season and really show up mm -hmm. in the playoffs so we could win the World Series. You know, I'm hoping to build off that for next year. And <sighs> go Gators. That was actually nasty, though. Come on. All right, next up we have the side. Cra Ryan Crash. Crash. Crash, 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 Tommy Coughlin, Daniel Schultz, and Kyle Schultz have ever won. And Kyle Schultz was in that conversation crash, once again this crash, year. Crash, However, crash, for the first crash. time, we do have a new winner. Yes! Is Ryan. Yes, let's go! Yes! Uh, you know, I'd just like to thank everybody for voting for me. He told me. Thank the Preds Nation. Come on. Like thank my dad. Uh, Say uh, he just gave me the confidence to show me that I'm a winner, you yeah. know. So, uh, you know, this season has been uh, really tough. Um, it's been a roller coaster, yes. but uh, everything turned out great. Uh, sad about who won the World Series, but <laughs> we'll get him next year. So, uh, go Preds, and thank you, everybody. Let's go, Preds. Oh, also, Crash. Remember, remember, okay? At the, bo at the Battle of Boston tournament a year ago, I asked you, when do you think you're going to win a Cy Young? You told me next year. Well, guess what? He won it. Except Kyle's going to win MVP. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Sit down, Clayton. Oh, Ryan Kelly think he can hit that? No way. Ooh. Nasty. Yep. Season record. Nobody's talking about this. My man crashed. Congratulations once again to Ryan Crash on winning the Cy Young Award. He had 90 strikeouts throughout the regular season, so well deserved. And now it's time to announce the winner of the MVP Award. This award is given to the player who has the most complete season, not only on the mound, but at the plate, both considered equally by the fans voting. Here are the nominees for the 2020 MLW MVP. Chris Cheatham, Great Lakes Gators. Kyle Schultz, Western Wildcats. Oh, we're doing the now. Ryan Crash. Pacific Predators. It is time. The winner of the 2020 MLW MVP is. Drumroll, please. Kyle Schultz. Kyle Schultz. previous years in the league just because of how competitive the league was this year and you know guys like Cheatham and, and Cratch they definitely deserved it too um, I'm just very fortunate for you guys the fans that you know supported me with the votes so appreciate every single one of you guys that voted for me um, I'm hugely thankful for Nick Saylor and Ryan Kelly my you know my main teammates through my you know regular season run postseason run without you guys I would not be here with you guys supporting me you know um, you guys mean, mean a lot to me and uh, hopefully next year we'll get on top definitely a tough way to losing the postseason this year but all around really good year for myself and for my team and for the league in general so uh thank you guys for this award no don't show that no come on come on <laughs> no a shot from kyle schultz here's the pitch He gets out of the jam. <laughs> we know to Schultz going lefty. Base hit. Left field. <laughs> and he still gets a base hit. Wow. <sighs> like, I love Kyle. It's just, he's won six MVPs. This is a, isn't this a seventh MVP? Congratulations once again. To one which should have gone to Tommy and one which should have gone to Ward. Kyle, and that is going to wrap up this year's MLW award ceremony. Wow. Fans, I want to give you a huge thank you. Not only thousands of you that came out to watch this show live, but also those tuning in at home and those of you who tuned in all season long. Really appreciate oh. it. There's nothing like this is possible without all of you guys watching. So thank you once again to the fans, to the players of MLW. We thank you for all your hard work and dedication this year. To myself, I thank myself for being an amazing host. Everyone, get home safe. Goodbye. So as you can see, there's a cumulonimbus coming in from the uh, western front. <laughs> okay, so that's going to do it uh, for this video. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.